Hey guys, this is Scipio. I'm going to be squad leading Assault 3 on St. Marie de Mont in the second map of the semi final versus STDB and Pi. So we lost the first semi final map, we lost that game 5 0. That means we have to get the clean sweep against them now, and if we're successful with that, then hopefully we can win the decider. We're going to be playing on town outskirts, it's the same point as the last map, but this time we're on the more favourable side, so hopefully we'll we'll have the advantage early on and then we can push on try and get that clean 5-0. I'm not going to be going straight into the circle we have frontal assault and defense going for that because we know we can capture that first we have the favorable spawn. Actually just like the last match my job is going to be pushing out to the east securing the compound and the ticket area ensuring we don't get surrounded. We did a great job of surrounding them after they capped it putting pressure on and capping it back straight away my job is going to be to stop that. And in my mind, the entire time is the mistakes from the day before. We didn't build garrisons, we failed to secure the area. So my job is going to be to stop that from happening, secure the area, build the garrisons, and from then I can start the offensive. We are not starting the offensive before we are fully secured on our defense. I've dropped markers, defense the compound where I need to hold, and I'm going to push towards the attack mark. I'm going to quickly scout out the area. They're already at the ticket bit. We're already on my attack mark. Yep, yeah, they are trying to fight for ticket. I thought they would be. I was ahead of my squad because I obviously didn't have to spawn on the It's down. So Lux down. We're going to try and push him. We've already taken down their Lux. The tank fight early on here is going to be... suppressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've spotted the Panther. So we've taken out their Lux. Their Panther's on front of the assault and we know they've got a Tiger tank somewhere as well. Those are the starting tanks. Oh, tank, 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 Tiger on thing, Tiger on thing. Panther down, Panther down. And we've spotted that Panther. Oh, sorry, we've taken down the Panther. We've spotted the tiger, so we just need to take out the tiger. Then we have tank superiority. We're capping the point pretty comfortably. It's looking good. We're actually making good progress towards ticket here. I've cleared out the corner. Tiger down. Tiger dead. Tiger well dead. Done. Skip your move up. Oh. Get that garrison built. And we captured the point. We've taken down all of their tanks. And I've got Froggers here, who has taken it upon himself to make sure we get the garrisons down this game. So that's great. So I can get the garrison built here. We're kind of going to secure the compound. We're going to make sure that we don't lose it from the initial push. They're going to go for this retake straight away. I'm just going to make sure we hold it. Artillery on. We've got that garrison built. I'm just kind of looking around. I know they've got lots of enemies around here. There he is. Managed to take him down. He's taking a really nice angle there. And yeah, so I'm going to be working with Jarvan Hill to secure this ticket area. We've got Cobra actually further out to the east, securing that Rue de la Gras area. So we're trying to really play a bit of map control really secure the area here we know roughly where they are they'll be pushing us off the garrison there so i'm going to try and get down there in a minute i'm not going to push quite yet i know they're getting close again they're going to try and make a little attempt to retake this area they're going to try and get the map control and put pressure on us rather than going for the frontal assault straight away they're close they're close, they're close. just going to try and hold this as best we can they're pushing up this road and they're pushing across these fields i'm just Dinking away. Their artillery, again, is going to be a nightmare this game. We do shut it down better than last time, but they were so good at defending it yet again. It was really hard to do anything about it. And the bombing run comes in straight away. Bombing bombing run. Take out garrison on uh, Soul 3. This is the key moment on the defense. We've lost that ticket position, but luckily Java manages to hold it without us. So we're going to go straight back there. We're going to build up that garrison again. And we're pretty much in our default now. It's what I'm going to call our default. Frontal Assault's holding. They don't actually manage to push them out completely. We've got this ticket position with Jarvan and Cobra is out further on Rue de la Gras trying to secure it. This is our default position. I'm going to do a fairly big time skip here. We kind of go back and forth on that position for quite a long time. I'm not really interested in that. I want to focus on my assaults this game because I do try several times. So I'm just going to push along the other side of the road. They managed to not spot me. So I can drop a nice little outpost here and hopefully I can get some offensive going. I've lost half my squad at this stage. They're out defending the artillery, trying to take down the recon outpost. Uh, it's really difficult to do that. Their recon played an amazing game. So I'm just going to be pushed up here. I'm trying to just poke and prod, spot the outposts and see what's going on here. Managed to get the outpost down. Going to call my squad up to join me or what's left of my squad. And they got a tank MG there. They, they do a really good job of just camping a tank there. It looks like it's going to be a really hard push from here, honestly. Um, we've managed to gain good ground, but where do you go from here and they're going to push me? 
I don't really have anyone with me at this stage, so they should be spawning shortly. But I'm going to get back on the outpost. So I need to defend it and try and secure the ground that we've seized. It's actually looking quite good on the map right now. We've got good map control. Yeah, I see them coming in there. I think they have spawns over there, so I'm going to have to try and fight that. But MG gunning me straight away. We've managed to get the positioning on the hedgerow, but once you're here, it's really difficult to push out. I do have support, though, now. I've got Mannering on that MG, I believe, at this stage. And I've got Cahoots joining me shortly. Yeah, there he is with the anti-tank, and we're able to take out that MG. So hopefully we can do something. I actually just spotted out the corner of my eye that the outpost went down. I don't think I knew about that in the moment in the game, but that's the downside of putting it close to the hedge. It means that anyone walking past it can take it down just from proximity. But the other option is to put it in the middle of an open field, so damned if you do, damned if you don't. I think my next outpost, I compromise slightly. I'm just going to smoke across that road, see if we can push towards the other side and see if we can get a foothold there and clear out those spawns. I think they're spawning on the other side of the road and we're spawning this side of the road, so we're in a stalemate. Hopefully with these smokes we can break the stalemate. I would love to use artillery, but art artillery is offline. Just looking for the guy I took down the outpost, can't see him. But that doesn't matter because I've still got Jarvan Hill behind me. He can hold down that position and clean him up. I'm just going to try and make the move, take out their spawns, and hopefully we can get a proper foothold and get this offensive going. We need the 5-0. Then we go to the decider. And we've got quite a nice little foothold here, so let me see what I can do. Uh, it took me a long time to spot him. That was a uh, squad leader, I think. Mind in a different place. But in that time, the outpost goes down again, which is really unfortunate. So we're going to do a bit of fast forwarding here. They're putting a bit of pressure on Jarvan's position here on ticket. So we're going to kind of hang about, make sure they're okay. Kind of counter their assault. I think they get pretty close here, but I don't think they ever really clear us out. They do a really good job of keeping pressure on us on this ticket position. But we do hold it really well. You can see Cobra out further to the east. They do manage to sneak past him to the north, but he just doesn't have enough people to watch that. They're going to get past somewhere, but that's why Jarvan's here to hold it. Tank sat on that red road. That That's a real pain. Really hard to counter. There's nothing we can do from the front. A 76 should have the edge on it, though. I'm going to smoke off that Tiger bottom of the road. And I've asked Merc to drop a smoke on it. We do have artillery back for a minute, so... Hopefully he can just get that one shot off that will be able to neutralise that Tiger for a while. I said, anti-tanks really can't do much about that. We need a 76 to take the head on Jewel, but they're all occupied. So I'm just going to smoke them off and ignore them. That, that's the best thing I can do right now, as much as that sucks. But yeah. Looks like there's a couple shells dropping towards him. I'm just going to give him a really accurate smoke mark. So hopefully we can just neutralise that threat for right now. Me and Manor are going to try and push down the left-hand side. We've gone the right didn't really work out for us. We managed to push up, but we couldn't go anywhere with it. So let's see if we can do a little bit more work by pushing the left side of the road. Dead ahead and to the left. Yeah, that's not going to happen. They've got too many MGs watching it, tanks, people spotting. Second we trigger a proxy on one of those OPs, they seem to react pretty quick. So there's very little we can do about that, unfortunately. Back to the garrison. Roger. Right, boys, spawn on garrison. D5, push south. Apparently it's completely open. Push towards Gem from garrison. Fingus, I kind of want you on this push as well. So even though our artillery is offline, I've had to call back Fingus. I've got a three-man squad. It's I, ca I can't do anything with three people, so I'm going to have to call back Fingus. We're going to have to operate without artillery. Get five people here to push down to the south. Jem actually spotted this opening. It's the same one I used earlier on the right-hand side of the road, but Jem seems to have made it further than us by himself. So we're going to try and get a bit of a rush down here. Me and I believe Jarvan Hill is joining us while Cobra holds the flank. And let's see what we can do. We've got supplies here, so hopefully we can get down a garrison. The goal really is to rush and overwhelm. Let's uh, see how this goes. They are really good at defending St. Marie de Mont, but hopefully we can overwhelm them here, neutralise those sports, and get them up. Build that forward, Gary, as soon as you can. Skip your... So that's the priority. If we get the garrison down here, we can hopefully just mass redeploy and really get a foothold in St. Marie de Mont. But with that proxy, let's see if I can do it over here. No, it's just too open. I'm going to drop the outpost just to keep it safe. But then I need to try and get to the other side of the road. Let's see if we can get a garrison there. So we've tried pushing directly this way. We've tried pushing left. Now we're going to try and go forwards, cross over to the other side, get the garrison down and see what we can do. But it's really tough. They, the second we have a presence there, they just lock it down. We're able to get there pretty consistently. But to get that foothold, that next step, seems to be damn near impossible. And those supplies have been taken down. I think that was the artillery. Or maybe a tank shell. Uh, they, they really did do a good job of shelling us and MGing us down every time we get to this hedgerow. 
but we have got a decent bit of momentum here on this little offensive. Frontal assault are working well. We've actually got enough bodies to make something happen. And we've got artillery online. I don't know how long it's going to be online for. It looks like we've got a tank protecting it. And we're just going to try and get those smokes down. Hopefully that will lead us to cross. I'm going to drop some smokes as well. Dropping bomb okay, 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 okay. So you can push front okay, okay, okay. behind us. Thank we found their spawns. That's really important. Last time we pushed, I didn't manage to do it. I'm just going to put some shots through that hedge. And hopefully if we can neutralise one or two spawns, we can push in and we can actually get the foothold. It's really important for me to move my spawns to the other side of the road. We lose so many people trying to cross the road and we don't always have artillery to help cross. So I'm just going to try and get the outpost down here. And then hopefully we can make something work off this. I'm going to try and grenade down that OP. I don't think I managed to hit it, unfortunately. Might get a couple kills, though. But I've got my full squad here, so we're just going to have to try and clear it out with our own firepower. I'm going to see if I can get down a garrison here, but note those supplies are gone. Can I get supplies here if someone supplies? But it's fine, we can do it ourselves. We were really good at this game. Negative. Oh, fuck, there's an MG watching that OPH placed. Second, the OP goes down because I need to get the OP for the supplies to get here as fast as we can. The MG you guys need to clear them out quick. So I have to win this duel. Alfie is pushing up on the other side to support me. Slightly risky grenade, Alfie, sorry. Almost oh, killing with the grenade, but actually managed to just win the straight up aim duel. Well, I will do it in a moment. Not the tidiest. I have a lot of messy fights with these guys. I don't think my aim was the most crisp today, but it does manage to work. I managed to frag okay. As I said, the issue with Pi for me wasn't the individual firepower. It's the way they use MGs and artillery just to shut you down, especially now. They just defend so well. They know they don't need to win this game. They just need to deny the 5-0. But I am able to get the garrison down here. Hopefully we can get some more bodies now and we can actually get something going. Ah, guns straight away. They still have spawns there. I never managed to get them down. Proxy on the outpost. This uh, gun strap. They're all waiting for those shells to push, I think. Yeah, and they've got artillery locked on us as well. This is the problem. We managed to get to these hedgerows. We managed to push up and get out of our positions. But to actually get to that next step is so difficult. They reacted really well. They're outflanking us in the distance. They've still got that spawn. They're just taking the angels with us and keeping us locked yeah, in. Positions untenable. I think I'm realising this isn't going to happen. This isn't the push to win the game. And even the touch again frustrated. Uh, yeah, and then the shells come in. Really tough. That shell also took out my outpost, I believe, or maybe someone got close to it. I don't think shells can actually take down the outpost, but now the garrison's gone and we're back to our spawn. Uh, they're just so good at reacting. How do you break through this wall? Well, for now, I've just got to drop the safe outpost again. And I know I can get close to that hedgerow. That's worked a few times now. We just haven't been able to capitalise on it. So I'm going to try and push down there again. This right-hand side of the road seemed to be unwatched for most of the game. So I know I can get forwards. And hopefully once I'm in this forward position, I can make a play. I can achieve something. Gem's bombing run. Hopefully he's going to clear him out a little bit so that we can do some work. I'm actually not sure that was Gem's. That might even have been theirs. Waste of a bombing run if it was. A couple seconds too early. So again, I know they're going to be close left. I need to watch this angle. Again, they don't really watch this that hard. It's just that the second they know we're here, they just crunch us. I see one guy running along there. I think I do get him, but the MG from the distance. They had MGs mounted everywhere back there because they knew they just had to hold that spot and you just die straight away. I couldn't even get the outpost down, unfortunately, because I dropped the safe one earlier. Maybe that wasn't worth it as there was a garrison there, but at this stage, I just really want to hold the 3-2. I don't want to risk anything. I know it's clear. I'm going to go straight back there. Let's see if I can do something a little bit different. I know that this frontal push isn't going to work. Trying to get to the other side, the MG, the tanks, they just seem to watch it really hard. So I'm going to have to try a slightly different avenue of approach. I think we've got artillery online. We're going to try and smoke off that tank again. Let's see what we can do here. Luckily, I believe my cooldown on the outpost has recharged, so hopefully I'll be dropping that soon. If I remember. Tiger on me, Tiger on me. Camping in the same spot as always. That that tiger caused so many issues. Same again. Apparently I'm not dropping an outpost. I'm not quite sure why that is, but uh you know, heat of the moment. I think I just remembered. I managed to clear close. Again, 
They give us a lot of space here. It's just a question of what do you do with it. Frontal ain't going to work. Pushing out to the left here hasn't worked. Tried it a few times now. So I'm going to have to try and open up a different avenue of approach. I'm going to try and jump into the right here. See if I can make that approach work. MG spot me straight away. And I'm going to go down. That's all right, though. We've got the outpost down. Bit of proxy. If I can defend that, hopefully I can try something else. Nice quick reaction to take him down. See if we can get into this cornfield. Trying something a little bit different. Maybe we can open up this new avenue. See if we can kind of cut to the right. Cut off their offensive. Maybe that will free up some of uh, the frontal assault guys. To really do some work. We just need to do something different. We're at this stalemate. They, they will never break us. We're holding this position so strong. If this wasn't a best of two, we're winning this game. I have absolute confidence in that. We had such good defense. We held it so well. Frontal Assault never managed to push them completely out of the grid. But they also weren't getting pushed back. Towards the east, they were able to get behind us occasionally. We've reacted perfectly. So we are at the perfect stalemate. Any other game, we're about to beat them. But this game is not good enough. We've got to get the 5-0. I've managed to break through into the cornfields, but they spot me. How about we do what they did last time and doing down. massive cheap no, supply drop? Behind, behind, right behind, behind down. Sorry. Two in, Sorry. Two of them. I just dropped that infantry truck on the right. They you can take it, it um, to a cell. One of the cunts is dead. You can teleport. Tiger unlocked. Tiger unlocked. Yeah, well. Yeah, for anyone. Time for the Hail Mary. Spawning in the transport truck, drop some squad leads in there, and let's see if we can get behind them. Mannering is going to go. I want one other squad lead to go in that truck with him. Who who's joining me? Uh, Mannering? I don't know. Someone else. I, I'm we need a we need a full squad. Been operating with three people the entire game. It's fucking stupid. And yeah, this is my frustration starting to tell. Um, I've struggled to break through so many times. I've got to the front line. And they've just completely shut me down. But I'm frustrated because I haven't had a full squad. I've had Mannering off doing other little jobs. I've had my AT squad trying to shut down their artillery constantly. I've had Froggers having to build garrisons, dropping supplies for other people. I've had to send people to support Cobra. Now, I'm not frustrated that I've done those things. Those things were really important for the team. But at the same time, one squad can't always be doing it. So I've sent Mannering off to drive it. And I've asked for another squad lead to jump in that truck. With that, we can get down two outposts behind their lines. We can spawn two full squads behind them out of nowhere. If we manage to do that successfully, maybe that's the Hail Mary that flips that cap. And once you've got them on their back legs, hopefully we can get the 5-0. But unfortunately, no other squad lead ever managed to get back there. So we've got Mannering driving behind their lines, but he's by himself. It's really frustrating. Maybe the second squad could have made a difference, but we're actually starting to lose town outskirts. I'm not too worried about that, though. We've already recovered it. As I said, our defense was solid. You know, admittedly, it was mostly assault and defense working together just to box them out of the area. We reacted so well to everything they do, but you can see Mannering's there, but he's by himself. It's going to make it really difficult for us to really flip this point. Do we only have one squad lead on that uh, truck? On my body, my body right now. Shoot him, it's in front of you, Scipio. Oh, thank you. Fuck. I don't think Ultra was too happy with me there, bandaging and reloading and stuff. I just couldn't take the shot. But uh, got him in the end. Thank you, Ultra. Nice little shot on that guy behind the wagon. And I think that is where we're going to end the detailed analysis. We're locked into a stalemate here. You know, me, Jarvan, Cobra holding the east was solid. We reacted to all their flanks. We managed to make a bit of progress, but never actually managed to get into their territory. Frontal Assault never quite managed to clear them out. They're trying to push down south with uh, the two tanks at the moment. But they hold it so well. They've completely fortified their position. There's nothing we can do. We're going for the Hail Mary play right now with uh, Mannering in the truck. But one outpost wasn't enough to turn the game. Maybe with two we could have done something. But unfortunately that's the way it goes. It'll be much easier to get down the garrison behind their lines with the second squad lead because we can do two support drops straight away and get the garrison. They do actually manage to get a garrison back there and they just never quite get the momentum, unfortunately. That area is so well held. Their tanks play passively. It was damn near impossible to clear them out, unfortunately. They got behind our lines a little bit here, but we do manage to clear them out quite well. And eventually, Manu is going to call for the reinforcements, but, you know, too little, too late, unfortunately.
Yeah, item squad. Everyone join item squad. Kill. I send Mannering my full squad to see what he can do, but by the time they get the garrison up there, the uh, Pi and STDB have reacted. It's tough. I feel like we were playing against one of the best team in the world, Pi and STDB, or the 116th right now, who play in the finals, are just fantastic. You can't really beat them, unfortunately. Um, but I feel like we could have. That's the frustration. Yesterday, we lost due to an unforced error. We gave up the East, we lost the tanks, and they just overwhelmed us. We were on the back foot and we lost 5-0. Once we captured town outskirts, if we hadn't done the overextension, I think we win that game 3-2. I really do think we could do that. Even if we lost it, we should only have lost it 2-3. And this game, I think if we didn't need to go for the Hail Mary, we'd have held town outskirts. It's only because we commit to a Hail Mary that we ever lose town outskirts. So yeah, I really think it should have been us in the final, but those unforced errors on the first map cost us big time. Because of that, we had to go for the desperation play here and we lose this map as well. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it for our run in the Greyhound Cup, guys. We have the third, fourth place decider versus the 501st, who I'm going to do a video on. Uh, it was actually a really good game. But yeah, well played to everyone involved. I, I think it was a really good tournament, lots of exciting matches. But I'll have some more thoughts on that later. For now, um, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and hopefully soon I'll have the edit of the 501st match.